President Biden pressed Congress to beef up border security and approve more aid for our allies at war. He also rolled out some new proposals on taxes, aid to Gaza, and much more. And as you'd expect, his address is drawing rave reviews from Democrats and a lot of criticism from Republicans. Fox 13's political editor Craig Patrick is in now to break it all down. Craig, we heard a lot tonight. We did, and very interesting as well. And the president was very revved up, seemed to revel the jeers he was getting from Republicans, and he really mixed it up with them more than a time or two in some really lively moments we'll take you through in just a moment. Of course, the president knows that he's facing questions about his age, so he borrowed a page from Reagan's playbook and trying to reframe that to his advantage. He said, for example, when you get to be my age, certain things become clearer than ever before. And from there, he confronted Republicans, ribbing them repeatedly for defeating or not addressing some of his top priorities, like aid to Ukraine and to our allies. And you can tell which themes he plans to press in the campaign trail by the themes he led off with tonight. That would be aid to our allies, the threat posed by the Capitol riots, his push also for abortion rights and a federal law to guarantee the right to abortion across the nation, a guaranteed right as well to in vitro fertilization. He also pressed his legislative accomplishments, the CHIPS Act, which he signed to expand high-tech manufacturing, the bipartisan infrastructure law to improve our roads and other transportation systems, and he stressed the gains in our job market and our broader economy since he took office, which he claimed much of the media is not covering enough. I came to office determined to get us through one of the toughest periods in the nation's history. We have. It doesn't make new, but in a, news in a thousand cities and towns, the American people are writing the greatest comeback story never told. Yeah, and Biden knew that he was facing a divided Congress and a very tough crowd on the Republican side of the aisle, and he addressed that again by engaging that side of the aisle over their policy disagreements several points and times. But one of the most striking moments was when Biden pressed Congress to pass the bipartisan plan to boost border security that President Trump, former President Trump, opposed and that Trump's allies in Congress derailed. The result was a bipartisan bill with the toughest set of border security reforms we've ever seen. Oh, you don't think so? Oh, you don't like that bill, huh? That bipartisan bill would hire 1,500 more security agents and officers, 100 more immigration judges help tackle the backload of 2 million cases, 4,300 more asylum officers, and new policies so they can resolve cases in six months instead of six years now. And he kept going from there, stating that there would have been more drug detection machines as part of that legislation. It would have given him and other presidents the authority to temporarily shut down the border when illegal crossings are particularly high. And he noted the Border Patrol Union, the Chamber of Commerce endorsed that plan. So in this, Biden's really doing two things. He's obviously exerting a great deal of pressure or trying to, to try to get Congress to reconsider and take that back up. But it's also campaign season, as we now know, that we have a a very likely matchup with Biden and former President Trump. He's also taking the moment to criticize the former president, Chris, there as well. Yeah, he came at him at a couple of points there tonight, Craig, as you pointed out. He also rolled out several new ideas for the coming year. Um, but again, you know, given the calendar, which of those ideas are most likely to come together? The ones he doesn't need Congress for, for example, he's talking about uh, building a port off the coast of Gaza to bring in more humanitarian relief. Uh, that that's already in the works. But his other proposals of capping more drug costs for seniors and a capping costs at $2,000 a year across the board for everybody from prescriptions, raising the federal minimum wage as tax proposals, uh, increasing the corporate tax rate and new minimum tax on large businesses and billionaires. Well, Republican House leaders and the House Ways and Means spe uh, Committee specifically already say those measures simply will not advance, not in this election year. Okay, Craig. Craig Patrick, thank you.